All right, what's going on, beautiful people? Uh, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be addressing the huge issue in regards to diversity and branding and YouTube and uh, brands that um, promote YouTubers and yada yada, Coachella and all that. So, from the views that I've seen and from what I've heard from numerous channels like uh, Verena, uh, Annie Long and Keisha, it's Keisha, um, there's been a disservice, it seems, to our women of color, in particular, uh, the female YouTubers of color, and, sorry, I don't know if this is, our female YouTubers of color, and so, brief ba background of what had happened is that there is, for Coachella, this um, app, this this app or whatever, it sent these girls to Coachella and they had their own little like place to stay that was free and they all benefited from that place. All right, cool, free place, get to chill with my homegirls, YouTubers, you know, influence influencers, influencers. So, but there was this huge racial divide. Because it seemed that all of the white female YouTubers got this luxurious suite and they all stayed and just chilled and had fun in there. But all the female YouTubers of color kind of had like this large living space or some... It just know that there was a huge disparity between the rooms and how luxurious they were or how high-end they looked. And I was looking at the videos. I'm going to insert some of the videos. Look at the room. It was like, it was, it looks like it was connected to the living room or kitchen or something like that. I just went air. She's literally the sweetest ever. Hey. So this is like our room where we're staying. I don't know who's staying right there, but that's my bed. That's Eris. And then there's Danielle. And the beds just looked so... Oh my God, I'm not even going to talk about it. I'm going to try and insert some clips for you guys. I was watching, I think, Ava's vlog. <sighs> We switched rooms, so we have the room connecting to who is it? Ellie, Aaron, Summer, Summer and Kalani. We're all sharing a room now. I'm very excited. This company really is trying it right now and is trying to test my patience. Well done. You've done that because I'm making this video about you. Seeing Daniela cry made me cry because like I've been in that situation where <clears throat> I felt like an outcast. Even on YouTube, people keep telling me like what kind of content to make. You should make hair videos. You should prank your brother. Like shut the hell up. Um so if you see these videos it's it, it's kind of clear as day that it's just a disservice to them as youtubers as women as creators influencers and what they're doing is marketing off of that brand like they're helping the brand but they're not getting an adequate amount of respect really from the brand um as a male as a man it it's kind of like annoying it it kind of incites some type of anger that these women are being treated that way it's a disservice like i said it's kind of disrespectful and stuff like that and as a man of color looking at the situation it's kind of more it's infuriating because again I'm, I'm an outsider looking from the outside in and it seems like there's been numerous situations numerous, numerous accounts where it's been this type of uh, circumstance for women of color. And it's it's saddening because, again, it's 2019. When are we going to, like, why why do we still have this type of divide? And I don't like the fact that there's women or just anyone that feels uncomfortable. And these type of situations that play out, all these little subtleties and things like this, whether it was racially motivated or not, these type of subtleties reaffirms certain um, self-esteem issues that women of color have. Like they already, majority feel like they're less than, like they're inferior to white girls or um, the white women or whatever. And these type of subtleties are what build up to that type of Randall's self-esteem, uh, less than, whatever. And it's just like, how are we supposed to undo that? How are we supposed to help them? 
like it's so hard there's so much we can do to um help them feel good inside for who they are as a person of color as a woman as this x y and z but when you see things that are kind of like bright as day it, it gets hard it gets hard I just want to be clear about the reason why I'm making this video. It's because I am pretty young, but I love YouTube. I've been doing it for four years. But it's definitely one of my passions and something that I would like to do as a job. And just seeing that a brand that is so popular or something that I want to support, like not really accept other races as much as they probably should and other sizes. And these um, the girls that are speaking out about this, they want to make it clear that they're not speaking out out of a way to expose the brand or to uh, like call the the brand on their BS or anything like that. It's just more of a reflection and raising awareness and making sure that this is a discussion that needs to be talked about because again, where is the diversity on YouTube? Like how many if like let's think how many YouTubers can you just say off of the bat that is, let's say, Hawaiian? How many YouTubers can you say off the bat that is Egyptian? How many YouTubers off the bat can you say is Vietnamese? Or, um, I'm just trying to throw some, some stuff out there, but like, you can easily just say five off the bat that is white. Women that are white, men that are white. So this, uh, this, like, it's, it's crazy. Is a, is a representation issue. There's a, yeah, there's a representation issue. And that's just across all platforms of social media. It's not just YouTube. It's not just Instagram. It's not just Snapchat. It's all across the board. So it's like, what do we do about this? And I know there's going to be people that say, well, maybe more people of color should be doing this. More people of color should be doing that. Reality is, we are. That's not that's not the um, the discussion. I'm just saying that because you know there's always some some trolls that be trying to find a way to flex in the comments. So that's that. But in all in all, I just don't like the uneasiness that these people, these females, these amazing influencers had to go through at their uh, during their um, time at Coachella because it's a time where. You just have fun. Like you don't have like you shouldn't be having to think about these things or think twice about these things. And I just think that was very unfortunate for these girls. And I, although they don't know me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that they had to go through this and I'm speaking out of a place of love and I don't hate anyone in this um situation whether you benefited or you didn't get to benefit, you're at a disadvantage, but um just know that whether that was the brand's intention or not, that does not define you as a human being or does not define your career or how amazing you are. You guys are all amazing. I love you guys as influencers, as YouTubers, etc. You guys are all great. I just had to put in my two cents because I love talking about race and social injustice. So I felt like I would be doing a disservice to myself if I didn't say anything about this. Especially, why, why not just talk about this from a guy's perspective so that's it signing off okay so i'm editing and i sorry so i'm editing and i like forgot to mention is um like the the massive effect of this um and how it affects other like potential influencers and females that are growing up and stuff like that like what i'm trying to say is what people see is what people see. Like, you already know that there's a huge, like, difference when it comes to social media and, um, just like, <laughs> like, when it comes to marketing, influencing, and, um, things like that, <clears throat> there's a huge racial divide in it. And you'll see the typical, uh, skinny white girl being marketed, like, 50 times as fast as uh, a woman of color who's, let's say, on the bigger side or not as, um, you know, just not that particular candidate that most brands like to market off of. But like, um, no, but like really, 
it's it's really about representation and when you associate these women of color in a rooming or a, 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 some type of room yeah rooming situation like that it kind of not like it defines their worth but like that's what it says as a statement when you, brands do something like that that's why like regardless of uh the race you need to treat your customers your your um clients or whatever relatively the same with the same respect with the same values with the same <laughs> just the same really so but if people don't speak out about something like this, then it's just going to happen continuously. And people are not going to want to cross the line and say, is this segregation? Is this racially motivated? Is this that? Is this that? No, because people are too afraid to speak up about things like that because they don't want to seem like they're the crazy or insane ones. Whether it's r r racially motivated or not, just it's just a disservice to you in general is what I'm trying to say. And the fact that it seems to be kind of racially motivated is just even more of a disservice. And because of that, I don't want that to be a president. I don't want that to be, I don't want that to set president for uh, women of color. Well, the first night I was just sitting there on my phone and I was thinking, I was like, is this a reach or is this kind of segregated <laughs> or am I reaching? Like, <laughs> I was like, no, I can't be like, it's just too much of a coincidence. So I brought it up to Eris and she was like, no, I noticed it too. You're definitely not reaching. She, and we were both talking about how it kind of made us uncomfortable and it was kind of a weird situation to be put in. And we didn't know if we should say anything. I told my manager about it. She told her manager about it. And we were both kind of ranting almost. We were like both pretty upset. So Daniela and Diamond got there the next day and we kind of brought it up to them and we were like, are we being like over dramatic or do you guys agree? Like we just genuinely wanted to know. We were like, are we tripping or? So I have so much to say for these women that are speaking out about this. You guys are awesome. Just had to say that and I had to remember this. But again, you guys are all beautiful and amazing. You guys already knew that though, so I'll get it.